Ooh, baby. That's a sexy chick. Get it? It's a chicken burger, so it's a sexy chick. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Bee Adventures. We got ourselves another cooking video. Today we're going to be making uh, chicken schnitzel burgers. Oops, I had that the wrong way around. Basically, crumbed, already crumbed chicken schnitzels from the grocery store. We got some burger buns, a tomato, a carrot, some green onions or shallots, and some lettuce, some cos lettuce. But you could also use cabbage or any other lettuce or green you would like. the dressing now get yourself a lemon you probably only need less maybe a quarter less than half otherwise it ruins it if you put too much juicer the old-fashioned way yeah yeah I think that's pretty good black pepper about a teaspoon there a teaspoon of some table salt or oh, sorry uh, veg vegeta vegetable salt but you can use any salt you like I like to use this vegetable so salt now I'm going to use whole egg mayonnaise that's what gives it that really nice creaminess there's one generous blob as you can see there's a second generous blob about a tablespoon two tablespoons now, as you can see you can do it in whatever order you like, but I, I like to do it this way just so it mixes in nicely with the mayonnaise and then I can start slowly adding in lemon juice. Otherwise I might add in too much lemon juice. Now can you see how it's just sitting on top? You gotta mix it in. It will mix in because sometimes it might curdle or split. You just keep mixing it, just keep stirring it. And as you can see now it's all mixing together and becoming nice and creamy. Now I like to add some sweet chili just to get some sweetness and some more colour in there and a little bit more pepperiness. Yeah, about a, about a tablespoon. And of course taste it. Taste it. Get used to you know your own cooking and adjust it for your own taste, whether you want more salt or less salt or more pepper or less pepper. Mmm, very creamy, very mellow. I might add a little bit more, a little bit more lemon juice, not too much. Well, the dressing's um, adjusted to my taste, delicious, very nice. And of course, let's pour on the salad. So obviously this could be a salad in itself, by itself. And you could use it on any other type of uh, recipe. And then we'll just toss that through. Now the idea is not to drench it, we don't want to soaking wet drench see it's just got a nice coating now we've got all these lovely colors the tomato the carrot the greens see all those colors are coming through and that's exactly why we diced and sliced most of it so it's going to be very easy to serve as well so it's not too stringy nothing worse than stringy food that just drips all over you and falls on on your lap or down your chest and ruins the outfit very nice colors huh it's gonna be nice and creamy 
some nice uh, mild olive oil. I'm going to use a cover, great idea. You can even just use a pot lid that's big enough, but cover it, that way it's less messy and then cooks a bit faster as well. And we have our chicken schnitzel. So this is just store board, obviously. This is a Parmigiana style. Yeah. And um, very affordable, guys. Very affordable. You know, they're already crumbed. Save you time and effort, especially if you're a busy professional or you're always working and blah, 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 blah. You can still eat fresh. Still eat fresh and relatively healthy. And uh, save a bit of money. So let's get the gas fired up. Now, the reason why I chose this particular pan, it's a bit thinner, so it'll heat up quicker and it'll be a bit faster for the cooking process. Usually I'd prefer a skillet, actually, the, the thick cast iron one. heat too high so I have to turn the heat low if you ever get lost or you're worried just turn the heat down turn it low I had the heat too high because I was trying to rush but uh, we will continue These are done. I turn the heat off. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful, huh? Nice and crispy. And still nicely, I can tell it's still nice inside, but see how it's white? I've already torn the skin. That's a good sign, it means it's cooked. Success. Alrighty, guys, as you can see, it's all ready to go. We got our Delicious crusty and crispy schnitzel. We've got our nice crusty bread or toasted bread bread roll and We'll keep it really simple There you go just home cooking for fun And there you go Our delicious schnitzel burger Now obviously if you didn't want the bread you could just have it schnitzel on salad or with potatoes or whatever So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try Give it a taste this. Come on. Yeah, we'll get some of that salad. Mmm. Mmm. The chicken is nice and tender. Let's see if I can show you guys. It's nice and tender. It's not dry. Nice and soft. It's still moist. Got a nice moistness to it. Very nice. It's got that crunch from the crust or the crumbing. Very nice. And then in combination with the salad, keeps it nice and moist, nice and creamy, and of course healthy. Have some salad. Yeah, it's very nice. So I could certainly just eat it like that, just a schnitzel with the salad. Mmm. With the toasted bread. Mmm. Very nice. Very good. Yeah, my uh, my messed up burger. My very nice messed up schnitzel burger. Yeah. All right, let's do it on camera. I'm gonna make a mess. Hmm. Hmm. It's much. Freshly, it's got that very palatable, very fresh taste to it. Like I could, I could eat these all day. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep making more for myself. But you get the idea, guys. That you don't have to eat junk food, fast food all the time. I mean, if you're craving a burger or a chicken burger, you can make one at home. Stay healthy and save some money. All right, success. I need to keep going. 
As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And be adventures out.